Hello everyone and I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fantasy match review. This is for the game between Sri Lanka and Netherlands. It's going to be an important game for Sri Lanka to qualify and they want to win to make it comfortable for themselves and I have Nikhil Bhai with me today to preview this one. How are you doing Nikhil Bhai and what are your thoughts on it? Bilkul, uh, thank you so much for having me. Bilkul, it's very interesting game. Uh, potentially net number decider because potentially बहुत सेकंड गेम से भी फर्क पड़ सकता है अगर नमीबिया बड़ा जीती है तो क्या पता तो बिकॉज़ देन टीम्स विल बी लॉक्ड ऑन टू पॉइंट्स तो वेल लॉक लॉट्स एट स्टेक सो होपफुली टीम्स एक्सपेरिमेंट नहीं करेंगी एंड स्कोर्स तो कम रहे हैं तो थैंकफुली बोलर्स आर डूइंग द जॉब Yes, totally. And before we get to the ground and the base team, keep in mind that the fan to play depositors leaderboard is now open for just a little while more. So ensure that you make your best deposit, not only because you need to use that deposit cash in contests ahead across the main leaderboard of the World Cup, you also get to win these prizes like you can see an iPhone, a OnePlus, a TV, and lots more stuff on offer. And the best part being, you can go on their app directly. and see what is the current ranking and the best amount so you can eclipse that amount based on what price you want to buy for so you can download the app directly right now the link is in the description the refo code is visible right below your screen yep and so far just one thing to keep in mind uh, we have talked about this in the previous videos better to stay safe right now uh, there is ka time nahi hai uh key guys are doing the job uh, because conditions have been such so make your visualizations best time to get grandings also because again back your one base team and then multiple combinations hamesha suggest kar rahe please keep doing that yes and warm up a little bit because when the renault leaderboard hits you want to be in full right. form too so yeah. yes now we'll talk about the geelong ground and you've seen that one dimension is shorter and we've discussed that across previous previews across but yes one key thing that we felt that we want to address before you start making your base team is keep in mind that the pitch has been getting slower to bat on it's like the team batting first has found it slightly easier so do you see that happening again nikhil bhai or do you, do you see them relaying this pitch all together in the one break day Uh, no, I think from what I read, they were going to use two two pitches, uh, mm-hmm. and they use both of them, and both are very slow. Uh, mm-hmm. So I don't think that is going to change in a day. Uh, but there is a bit of rain forecast, so please keep that in mind and make your investments accordingly. Uh, both the matches for the day are here only, so uh, potentially you could have a short match affair. So just invest accordingly, be smart, and uh, the conditions remain same. There is one long boundary, one very short boundary, and uh, Spinners are also coming to the game now because they are using the ground dimensions very well. So that remains the same. And yes, hopefully, let's have a good game. Yes, totally. And on that note, we'll start discussing our base team. And like you can see, the Renault car that you've been seeing in the thumbnail that you're seeing on your screen right now, you can start vying to win it from October twenty second. Till then, be patient and make and collect some money so that you can put in a yes. lot of Grand League teams when the time comes. So this is a base team that we have set up for this specific game. First up in the keeping section, we have gone with Kusal Mendes, and then the two batters, Rajapaksa and Nisanka. Now, while I know Nikhil Bai must be crystal clear about the two batters, I want to ask him, what do you feel about the keeper? Has he's not been in great form, and I think the opposing keeper is still a decent choice, I would say. Uh, it is, but uh, I think. With stumping and catches, Kusal might give you more mm. points uh, as compared to his counterpart. And Kusal is the kind of guy who, when you know when he comes off, he's going to make a big knock. We saw that in the Asia Cup as well. Mm. So again, just going on potential more as compared to actual current form, uh, going with Kusal. But you would not be too wrong if you go with uh, the other one as well. right fair call and the two batters i think we are pretty clear with especially because all of the netherlands batting has been slightly sporadic you can take maxo doubt if he's batting if he's batting first because then he might be able to take some time but while chasing we feel like he might have his troubles again thikshana in fact even while batting first that can be a match up and hence we have taken full advantage of the all rounders and extra bowlers that we can take on fan to play 
So we have gone with the three all-rounders, Akerman, who can also bowl quite a bit of off-spin against yes. the host of Sri Lankan left-handers, and Hasranga and Bastilidi, who are captain and vice-captain. You don't have to explain that part too much. Yes, and again, look, how important it is to know the conditions and where the matches are. If we are doing the match of India, we say that we can take the time in second innings, so you can prefer the second innings in the second innings. But here, because the second innings pressure is more, the pitch is slow, so you can't take the time in the second innings, because then the match is the same. So unless the Netherlands bowl first and have a cracker of performance with the ball, then you can be very sure that a man should out can take his time. But as a player, we know that he will come to a good knock. So if you think that it's the day of today, you can do, but if you see, when, we, when we will score down, you will see we have backed the team with Sri Lankan bowlers. So we are expecting them to take a lot of wickets, and which is why we have not gone with their top, uh, their top order batters. So that is the logic. And we say this time and again, the conditions are very important. And what do you think? Please back that thought. Yes, totally. And if you see this team, idealistically, if... Sri Lanka are batting first. I don't think you'll need to even change much here because we've also covered the two Netherlands pacers in Klassen and Mikran, who I think both bowled pretty well in the last game. And then we are backing the Sri Lankan bowlers in Thikshana, Madhushan and Chamira, who bowled with a lot of pace. But keep in mind, he didn't complete his spell. He went off yeah. the pitch with one ball left. So don't be surprised if they're probably playing Shanaka or someone of that sort as third pacer. But yes, assuming that he's an important player for them and is fit, we have picked him in the team currently. Yeah. So that is the one base assumption. Yes, there are other uh, middle over options as well. Uh, you could go with Chamika, Kaunaratne, Dasun Shanaka, but try them in different uh, kind of contests and leagues because, again, this is what key roles you play, Uni Paris flow better. Hai. As compared to taking somebody who potentially impact kare. So, base team se usme must be karna. But agar haan, multi-valley khel rahe ho toh bhai, please go full jai ma tadi. Yes, totally. The only one thing that we want to clarify is that we have tried to pick players who are either going to probably get a definite batting opportunity or are going to probably bowl their full quota of four overs. Like these would probably be Sri Lanka's four priority bowlers. And then the yeah. fifth bowler based on who's playing. So that is the thought process behind backing the mainstream guys over the all-round guys. Yes. Because we so did yes, take Rohan Ramsey, but he did not bowl in the death. And uh, that is uh, our favorite. So yes, that wraps up our team for this specific game. Now we are on to the section where Nikhil Bai tells you his one dream team pick or rather his dream team captain for this game. So go ahead, Nikhil Bai. The stage is yours. Uh, if Chamira doesn't play and Kumara plays, you can make him your captain, vice captain. Uh, he's somebody who's got very good pace. So very exciting to see if he can make that impact. So yeah, there's that pick. Right, fair call. And my pick for this specific game is continue to be Dhananjay De Silva because I felt he batted pretty stably. And he's the guy who generally takes a calculated risk. He's not someone who's going to take a blind shot here and there. And who knows if Chamira doesn't play, like Nikhil Bhai mentioned, maybe his off spin also comes to use in this specific game. So, yes, that would be my pick for this specific game. Please ensure that you tell me your pick too so that I can pick your brains too on this specific one. And hit the like button and ensure you share this video with as many people as possible. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great game. Yes, please have a good game and hit the like button because you know what it does. Happy <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>